Hey guys, in my last video, I showed you some highlight shapes I created in DaVinci Resolve to help me when I do tutorial videos. Well, today I'm going to show you how to make them yourself. Let's go over to the computer. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to come over here, we're going to right click in the media pool area. We're going to select new fusion composition. We're going to select that. We'll give it a name. We'll call it blue highlight box. Okay, and the frame rate of our sequence is 23,976, so that's fine. Uh, the duration of the box is five seconds, that's okay. And we hit create. And over here you will see we have created a fusion composition that says blue highlight box. Simple enough. Double click on that, that will open the fusion panel. And here is where we will make our box. The first thing you're going to need is a background. So if you come up here to the search tool, start to type in background, there you go. Drag it down into the node area, connect it to your output, and now we have a black background. But we said we wanted to make a blue box. So let's just come over here and pick blue. You can pick whatever color blue you want, but we'll just pick the default blue right there. And we have our background connected to our media out and we have a blue background. Well, that's great, Scott. I wanna make an outline. Well, it's very simple. Right here, you will see there's a rectangle. So we're gonna make a box. So we're gonna select rectangle and drag it down here as well. And now we've got our box. You'll see in the screen, you'll see where the box is, the default position for the box. Let's connect the rectangle to the background. And now we have a blue rectangle on our screen. But how do I make it turn into an outline? Well, that's very simple. Let's come over to the inspector panel. This box right here is says solid. It has a check mark in it. Let's deselect that. Now the box has gone away. Don't panic. The next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna come over to border width right here. And we're going to just start to increase that number. And now we have a blue box. You can adjust the edge of it, you can make it soft. You can adjust the opacity, fade it up, fade it down. You can change the length. That is what will animate for us. So now that we've created our blue rectangle, our highlight rectangle, we need to get this out so we can bring this back in as a title that is editable. So what we will do is we will select all of the nodes here. We will right click and go up to macro, create macro. That will open a window here. This is the name of our blue box. So I'm gonna name it, we'll call this the blue highlight box. And then down below, we want to select all the controls that we want to be able to edit later. So we will start selecting border width. In our background, that's our that's our blue outline, so we want to make sure we can edit the color and change it. We will scroll down to color. Selecting here, selecting this color box here, that allows us to be able to change our color later. I'm just gonna select all of them. Once we've selected everything that we want to be editable later, we will hit close. This message will come up, save changes to macro tool one. We're gonna say yes. We're going to navigate to a different folder and you'll see we have a blue highlight box. We're gonna save it here and now it has been saved. Next, we need to import this into our effects palette. Okay, so I've already got my folders open, but let me show you, I'm on a Mac. Let me show you how we got here. Um, here is our blue highlight box that we just exported. To load it on a Mac, we go to go. 
We hold option, library, application support, black magic, DaVinci Resolve, Fusion, templates, edit. And then since this is a, this box is actually a title, we will open the title folder. And there you go. That's that's how we got to our title folder. Okay, so now we're in this titles folder. Let's find where we saved it. I saved it in a export folder for fusion comps that I've made. And there it is right there. Blue highlight box. We're going to drag and drop it into the titles folder. It is now there. We are back in DaVinci. We're in the edit page. And if you look over here in the effects window, you now see a blue highlight box that we made. So let's drag it on over to over our background. And there it is. There is our box. And if you see in the inspector panel, these are all the controls that we have access to. We can fade it on and off. We can make the edge blurry or soft. Uh, we can adjust the width. We can turn it into a solid. Or we can make it a highlight box. We can adjust the length. Position here adjusts where the where it starts. If we wanted it to start there, we just change the position. Center, that's our left and right. Y is our up and down. Width, we'll open the box. Height, we'll narrow the box vertically. Our corner radius, we can round our corners. We can adjust our angle if we so desired. We can change our color here. We can either use the RGB sliders to adjust like that. Or we can click on the box here and just pick a color like so. And if we wanted to go back to our default, we we'll just double click on the color and it's blue again. Same is true for all of the parameters. If you just double click on the word, it will default back to what we created. You also have control to move it around in settings. And if you want to see a more in-depth explanation of all these controls and how to apply them, you can watch my previous video where I explained all of that. That's it. That's how you make highlight shapes in DaVinci Resolve. Hopefully this helps you and you can do this yourself. And if not, there's a link in the description below to my website where I am selling these already made uh, shapes for you. So uh, head on over to the website and uh, pick one up for yourself today. Thanks for watching this video. I will see you in the next one. Happy editing.